hello and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time my name is Mary and uh, in this channel we teach how to sew basically for beginners and for any level that willing to enhance their sewing um, uh, uh, techniques so without any further ado today we have 10 tips and tricks for sewing <music> Number one, iron your garment. How many times you had uh, uh, do a hem a trouser or you hem a shirt or a hem a blouse and you just have so difficult time doing it directly without iron. You can see in all my tutorial, I never leave my ironing. You'll be surprised how many ironing you need to do more than sewing itself. So, I encourage you to iron your garment. It will help you 100%. It will help you more than any other thing. That leads us to next step. Sew something that you're really going to wear or you're going to use. Even if it's an apron, even if it's something you're gonna go outside with, it's a special occasion. Uh, sew something that you're not gonna hang on your closet collecting dust. So, for example, you see me sew this uh, blouse or top, so I still wear it. So, sew something that you're really going to use. Otherwise, you'll be wasting your money, your resources, your fabric, and that's not what we all want, right? Next tip I have for you is don't buy the fabric while it's too expensive. Wait for it, I'm sure it's going to go on sale. Even if it's not the same color you want, it will go on sale. Maybe add it to your cart and wait until it goes on sale. And if you're shopping in a local fabric store, just check their flyer, see what fabric are going to be on sale next uh, week or next month or whatever event is coming that you, they're gonna have it on sale. I advise you because I've been through this a lot. I go and buy lots of fabric and now I have a big stash of fabric that I don't need or I don't use. So make sure wait for it until it goes on sale. Seam rivers, uh, they can be one of your best friend in during sewing as well and it helps you to undo your seams that you did and you think is not correct or maybe you made a mistake or maybe you, you sewed the wrong side. Also for your button holes. What I'm showing you is a small trick that I learned because I can't tell you how much time that my seam ripper went through my fabric. So I put a pin and then see start cutting my seam and the pin will stop my seam ripper from going any further, which really saves lots of garment that I worked on. This one, I think is most important one from all the ones I've been talking about so far is clean your sewing machine. I know, I know it's busy and we need to finish uh, something and we don't have time for that. It will only take you a few minutes to get it polished and clean and believe it or not, it can impact your um, your sewing it can impact your stitches it can sometimes you know when you sew and you see these bulks of threads that comes for no reason it's not because of the tension it's not because of the needle sometimes it is but for the most cases you just need to clean your sewing machine and it won't take you normally most of the sewing machines comes with uh, a small brush that help you to clean it and polish it and if it's not with your sewing machine it sells everywhere you can find it in your local fabric store online amazon anywhere so i encourage you to take time and do it every other day if you would but it's most cases you can do it once a week that will keep your sewing easy and without any frustration you won't want to throw your sewing machine out of the window not for the water reuse patterns so how many times we have purchased an expensive pattern and we just use it for one particular garment and that's it 
no now we can even reuse it and maybe that will enhance your sewing technique a lot believe me you can get out of one pattern so many variation other than the one in the pattern if you build some sewing techniques and skills um, you can turn um, maybe um, uh, a high color uh, blouse into non-color just have to take off the color and make the uh, the neck opening a little bit smaller and many 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 i just give an example a uh, long sleeve shorter sleeve uh, or without a sleeve so there are so many variations that you can change in your pattern so make use of this pattern that you spend lots of money to get also in one of my tutorials i have been showing you how to make your own pattern you just need to trace one of your best fitted uh, t-shirt if you want to go with a, doing a blouse or a trousers if you are going to do a pants or trousers uh, you can trace your own clothes and make your own pattern so um, I encourage you not to buy more patterns just sink out of the box and reuse your own patterns using scraps yes that's a very good one because you know once you cut your fabric, I'm sure you get so many scraps that you don't know what to do with it. Sometimes we throw it away and we don't think, oh, maybe I need, and then later on you think, oh, I wish I had it to stuff a teddy, uh, to make a pouch, to do maybe um, a tea, uh, a tea uh, towel. Like there are so many, the sky is the limit for the scraps. So, and also I made a video of how to use your scrap and show you how I made a nice pouch out of my scraps. So I encourage you, do not throw this fabric, just keep it, you will need it. This one I know, I've been <laughs> tempted to not to do it. It's very hard, I know, I understand how much every sewer love to buy fabric i am one of them and it's so tempting when you go to fabric store that you can't go out of the store without taking something even one thing that you're not sure if you're gonna use it for so what i try to teach myself is only use my stash if, if, if i run out of if i don't have any more fabric for the project in mind then i'll go buy it so always plan okay what are you gonna use this fabric for are you gonna get it and just because you love the color of course but yeah try to not to buy the fabric unless you're gonna have to use it um and don't just buy it uh and say oh maybe i'll use it for next project and that next project is not gonna come you will end up with piles and piles of fabric that you do not use so make sure you plan it and know what exactly you're gonna use this fabric for okay this one i found very very helpful it use a test fabric you might think i'm crazy so waste the fabric to test the fabric to test it's it's not this way it's just if you have um, an old uh, bed sheet, you can use that and instead of using your beautiful fabric that you spend this much money on it. So why don't you get an old fabric or maybe a night, not a print that you really like and you bought it on sale or maybe a bed sheet like I said, an old bed sheet that you're not using anymore, they, they are great. To stimulate or to uh, produce the same garment that you are going to use this way you can do your adjustment on that bed sheet or that fabric that you don't like other than wasting your nice expensive fabric uh, that will save you lots of lots of time and money you don't know how much fabric you could waste and I've been through that I had to cut through my beautiful fabric and then all of a sudden the size went too small what we do about that nothing you have to give it away so I encourage you to try your pattern or your project on a test fabric or a or a pitch sheet or a fabric that you don't really like the print before 
trying it on the beautiful fabric that you purchased. This one is one of the funniest thing I like about sewing is sharing because you get to share something that you made by your it's it's really unique nobody in the whole world did this it's only you it's made by you so it's special and unique and it's 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 great feeling when you share something unique with with people you love in your family in your friends and you give it as a gift how many times you runs out of ideas for somebody uh, you want to give him a gift or give her a gift so and it will be so uh, personalized because you can even write their name on it you can iron on their name you can uh, customize it based on their preferences maybe they like certain fabric maybe they like certain print maybe they like certain things uh, certain color schema and so for the sky is limit for the how can you use sewing as gifts of course we can buy a ready-made from the store gift but you don't know how more special if you really did it they will feel more special that you took the time to do this just for them so last one i encourage you to tell me what is your tips on sewing and what did you learn uh, during your sewing journey perhaps you learn a lot of techniques perhaps you have great ideas that you can share i encourage you to add your comments and your tips in the description below i also encourage you as i mentioned if this is your first time to subscribe to my channel this way you will have an updated content every time i upload a new content it will uh, update you thanks for watching and see you next time Bye-bye.